About the time we get over the first hill headed up to the larger ridge, we hear a bell fed open up and it's to the north of us. And they're shooting at our, the guys on our right flank. Can't tell exactly where it's coming from, but we can tell that that's the only ones that they can see. So we continue to move up to gain the high ground on this ridge line to try to get a better fix on their position. About the time we get up there, we realize where they are, not too far from our position. We engage those guys, but then all hell breaks loose. So in the draw behind the ridge that we're on, we're taking heavy fire. Ineffective, we're behind like this ridge of rocks. So we've got some cover, it's good cover, but man, they are just um, So we got a couple of dudes that have been dealt with on the north side, but they have shot and wounded both of the guys in our gun team to our right flank. About the time that we're trying to figure out exactly where they are below us. Now we got no grenades, we've got nothing, like I said. Shit. Small arms. About that time, bullets come. I'm here, Phil and Bashir over there. The two Somalis are a little bit further to his left, and then the gun team is beyond them. And then Brady's on my right, and then the wounded gun team on his right. And so rounds come cracking right across the front of me the cover I'm standing at, like skip off the rock right in front of me. And Brady and I both look left at the same time and dudes are maneuvering up the ridge line. There's four or five guys that are coming up the ridge. And so all this in a split second, that first like barrage of fire, Bashir is like just standing out in the open, gets shot three times. So Phil grabs him, pulls him down behind cover and is like packing like curlex and gauze in his holes. Brady and I both turn, and I move to a piece of cover between me and the guys on the left flank. Yell to Brady, hey, move to me, move to me, move to me. Suppress the fire, Brady moves to me. Now it's the two of us. The two Somalis that are up here with us are now cowering down behind the rocks and terrified, like not returning fire, not anything. And I think, well, at least they're not going to shoot us, right? They're yeah. there. The gun team between us and them <clears throat> are now in a shootout with the guys. So half the guys that are coming up the ridge are shooting at the two Somalis on our left flank. The other half of the guys are shooting at Brady and I. It's kind of whack-a-mole. Um, Brady and I ended up shooting rounds between a bunch of rocks and just ricocheting a bunch of rounds into the dudes, and they would peel out to one side or the other, and you know we kind of dealt with it. But Anyway, in the midst of that portion, um, we ended, ended up dealing with all those guys, but they had wounded not just Bashir, but the other two guys. So now I've got five wounded Somalis, including the only one that speaks English Shit. and the three of us. So everybody on the ridge is down. I'm not worried about, it doesn't seem to be, we have good visibility that we've got any more threat coming up the ridge line above or below, but we're still getting hammered from down below. And I'm like, I don't, like, I don't know what our move is from here. Like, the three of us were like, we don't have a lot of options here. And Brady goes, how about some naval gunfire? <laughs> oh. And so, you know, we kind of, the three of us kind of looked at each other and we're like, all right, yeah, we can do this. Like, let's just have, they're all in one spot. Let's hammer this draw. We had already talked to them, pre-planned targets. Um, so the boat was ready and aware and they were jacked up. Like, they didn't even know we were there. I so thought they were fucking we, pumped. We called them in the blind. It was a really funny, like, 20-minute conversation before we had gotten into that position. And, and you could hear them in the background, like, yeah! Like, they knew they were getting ready to get some. And so Brady is on the horn with the boat. I have a handheld satellite radio because I'm like, we can't do this unless I call troops in contact over the SATCOM. Like, they got to know we've been engaged, that yeah. we didn't just shoot naval gunfire into a country we're not supposed to be into. And so, yeah, so Brady's talking to the boat, calling a naval gunfire. I'm calling in troops in contact over SATCOM. I said that we had wounded, but I didn't say who, um, because I was worried that if it was just Somalis, we weren't going to get the same reaction, uh, which I don't know if that was the right call or the wrong call, but it was the call that I made at the time. Um, and so we ended up grabbing up as many of the Somalis as we could, and we started pulling back off the ridge. Right about that time, rounds come overhead. I, I think Brady shot, had him shoot like 24 rounds or something off the deck guns into the valley and walked him up and down as we pulled back off the ridge. So we get back down to our patrol base. There's no more fire coming from the hills other than, you know, the smoke and everything that's left, dust from the naval barrage. We get in the patrol base. Um, Phil basically like almost on his own. I think I helped him with like the first two guys treating casualties, but Phil basically patched up all them dudes by himself. 